Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. We are back doing another clothing haul video, guys. It has been a while since we did one of these. I'm super excited to get into this one because I have some incredible pieces. So I've actually tried out a few brands that I've never tried before, as well as just some pickups from brands that I've already got plenty of pieces from. So as always, I put full outfits together so you can kind of see how I style these things to give you guys some inspiration. I will say if you're interested in any of the pieces that I show you guys today, feel free to go down in the description. I should probably have links for everything as well as like sizing information what sizes I got and also like my general dimensions but without further ado let's get into the first piece this is a hoodie from broken planet market they just kind of popped up I believe on Instagram um, that I first saw their brand most of their clothing seems to be like hoodies joggers and like I think they did some jeans and stuff like that but it's mainly the hoodie and they did like a lot of different colors but this is the one that really stood out to me this one right here so it looks all plain from the front and and then from the back, you can see they've got this huge text, which on this one, it says, the moon is too close, I want to go further. And then it has this huge puff print of the moon. First of all, I believe the price was about 85 pounds. I wasn't too mad at the pricing. Um, the quality getting it in is actually not too bad either. I wasn't too disappointed. It's decently weighted. It's not like you're gonna be blown away with this quality. It seems relatively standard. I was assuming all of this text on the back here was puff print. Um, however, all of it is screen printed except for the uh, moon, which which is actually really nice thick print. I'm not entirely sure if that's exactly puff print, but it kind of feels like it. And I just like the way that this feels. I like the way that it looks. It just makes it feel like something different to a regular screen print hood. I feel like it's a perfect fit for me. This is a medium. I definitely wouldn't go down to a small. It's uh, even at a medium, a little bit snug-ish. It doesn't look too oversized. It definitely has the oversized look, but not like some other brands that just go crazy, like Fear of God. Nice hoodie. I'm impressed with the way that it looks and just overall quality. I definitely get another one of these in the future. All right, the next item that we picked up is this right here, a represent varsity jacket. I dropped this on the website like a good few months back and I was just like, yo, I need this jacket, but I didn't pull the trigger because it is a little bit pricey. Um, but I just kept on like seeing it and the more I thought about it, I was like, you know, I gotta pick this thing up. Um, and trying it on and wearing it, I'm blown away, man. This thing looks so sick. I mean, I know that there's a lot of other varsity jackets out there, but this one just feels insanely nice. It's got so many patches and details on it. And for a varsity jacket, I just think they just did such a good job on this. Now, I don't think this is genuine leather. I think it's just faux leather, but at the same time, it feels really nice and soft, which is super important for me personally with a varsity jacket. Sometimes if it's really like stiff material and you're wearing it and it just kind of stacks really awkwardly on your arm. I actually went with a small on this, which I was a little bit worried about because I was worried I couldn't get a hoodie underneath just in case I wanted that option um, but thankfully the small fits me just fine I mean I get medium hoodies with represent I get a lot of medium stuff and I think it looks perfect it's got a nice cropping it's not too long I'll definitely be wearing this a lot this springtime so yes yeah, super super nice piece Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. You don't need any coding or website building experience. Everything is simple and easy to use while giving you all of the tools to be as creative and really make your website stand out. So if 2022 is the year you wanted to start that blog or sell products online, Squarespace will make that whole journey so much easier. All of their websites are mobile optimized, which I think is super useful and important. Their members area is incredibly useful, allowing creators to unlock new revenue revenue stream by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Sell physical or digital products by setting up an online store, using the many templates Squarespace has, and making it your own. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Elliot Page to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, but let's get back to it. All right, we're trying out another new brand. Now this brand, I can't even remember how I found them, but essentially it's a German brand. Root Atelier is the name, I think, of the brand. This is the first item that I got. I got a couple pieces, but this is the first one. So it's a pair of, I guess, kind of cargo pants. So the first thing that I really like about these pants is just the color. It's like this kind of, faded ashy gray that almost just looks kind of stonewashed so it has 
all of these streaks of like kind of wear in it. It's 100% cotton, but the way that it kind of stacks on your shoes and just on your legs in general, I think looks super sick. Like it's almost suspended in a way. So the creases and the, the way that the fabric moves down your legs looks really, really cool. They're actually straight leg or this is a wide leg pant. Or you do have these adjustable strings, which you can pull and then obviously cuff it up and make it look pretty sick. Now for sizing reference, I got a small, like I normally do with my pants. I'm a 30 waist, so these things fit me just pretty much perfectly, or at least how I think looks pretty perfect. I wanna like briefly talk about this next item because I just picked this one up, um, and I think you guys are pretty familiar with this jacket. It is the Carhartt Santa Fe jacket. This one I actually found on sale. So normally I think the retail price on these things is about 200 pounds here in the UK. I managed to find this for 130. Now I will link these down if it is still on sale or even if it isn't. So hopefully you guys can grab a steal if you were interested in this jacket. I went with a medium because again, I wanted to layer it and I wanted to get a hoodie underneath it. But looking at this on, I would probably go for a small just because of the length. I think that the general sizing and the sleeve length and everything like that is pretty much perfect. But honestly, I want a little bit more of a cropped look. So I may try and pick up a small, but other than that, this is a solid quality jacket. I think it looks really cool. All right, we're going back to that brand where I got those pants from. It's called Root Atelier or whatever the hell you want to call it. This is that German brand which I just recently discovered and I'm loving their stuff because again, it's so different to what I've normally seen. So I picked up this piece here which is a zip up hoodie but at the same time, it's kind of doubled like a jacket almost. So essentially it has the same kind of construction and sizing as a hoodie. It's relatively thin. It kind of feels like maybe the same thickness as a hoodie, but it's made out of this kind of nylon, I guess, silky windbreaker style material. So what's really cool about that is this can double as I guess a year round jacket or hoodie as well. So you can wear this in the springtime or even the summer, just throw it on with t-shirt underneath and it will be relatively cool wearing that however in the winter you layer this with a sweatshirt or a hoodie underneath and I think this will double as like a windbreaker great quality reasonable price I can't remember how much I pay for this maybe 80 bucks um, but for what you're getting I think this is a great deal and just a lot of their stuff looks really interesting now for sizing reference I went with a medium which fits me perfectly All right the next item we went for something a little bit different but at the same time it is kind of similar to a lot of stuff that I've worn in the past and stuff that you've seen here on the channel. Uh, and that is this pair of pants. This is essentially from a brand called Columbia. I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard of that brand. It's like a outdoor winter style pair of pants. Maybe you could even call these ski pants. I'm not entirely sure. They just call them waterproof adventure pants. Almost has this flare effect. And that's mainly because of the weird nature that they have zips that go all the way up your leg. And now I went with a size small, like all of my pants. Again, I'm a 30 weight. So these things fit pretty perfectly. Next up, we got some pieces from Fear of God. So I got the hoodie and I just loved the color of the hoodie. Like it's a really black, but at the same time, it has like these almost chocolate color undertones. Like it's a little hint of charcoal or brown in there, which I really, really like. Just has this faded look. So their new branding essentially now is 1977, which I was told by a lot of you guys is Jerry Lorenzo's birth date, which just seems a little bit weird but either way. Now, even though I have said that the quality is not amazing and I still agree with that, like there's nothing special about this quality for the price, but at the end of the day, it fits super well on the body. Like there's just something how Fear of God pair of sweatpants goes with a pair of sneakers. I just think looks so sick. I went with a small um, and that fits pretty perfectly. I like the way that it sits on me. It's not like their hoodies where it's so oversized that you have to size down. But I also got another pair of sweatpants, which I actually styled with the t-shirt, which I'll pull out in a second. Um, but these sweatpants, same deal. These ones just don't have the 1977. They've got the traditional essentials branding down by, I guess, the lower leg region. But something that I haven't tried from Fear of God Essentials are their t-shirts and I decided to go for their I guess mock neck long sleeve I just really like the way that this has that kind of tighter extended neck area the only, they only had one size of this left and I went with an extra small 
which is, man, I haven't bought an extra small in anything for, I mean, damn, since I was like 15 years old or something. So this was super strange. I just tried it out because I was like, yo, the hoodies are super oversized. Maybe the t-shirts are gonna be super oversized as well. And guess what? I was right because I'd say that the extra small fits me pretty perfectly. And that pretty much concludes all of our pickups. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again. Another one, thank you for liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.